right, so here we are on Zoom with the one, the only, Mona Golub. Hi, Mona. How are you? Chris, I'm doing great. Thanks. How about you? I'm doing great. Mona, Music Haven is underway, and you must feel like you're doing 100 miles an hour. I would say we are back with a vengeance and uh, increasing our speed as time goes on. <laughs> yeah, you had a, an incredible opening night with Steel Pulse and uh, Nathan and the Zydeco Cha Chas. Uh, man, this is the, and, you, and the weather has been so wonderful. We've been lucky, you know, and when yeah. you to unify people and uplift spirits, uh, perfect weather is a nice bonus. So let's go, let's, let's spend a little time, you and I, talking about this amazing season for 2022 at Music Haven, Schenectady Central Park. Uh, most of these shows are on a Sunday night because that's when Music Haven has always been kind of, right? So what's going on, though? You've got Nipperfest happening on a Saturday. You've got Shamika Copeland coming on a Thursday. What's going down, Mona? Well, we tested this out a little bit in 2019. Remember way back before the pandemic? Sure. Um, special events on, on different nights uh, featuring different types of art, a little film, a little theater. Uh, our friends at Nippertown.com are doing great things in promoting local music. We love local music and wanted to be able to partner with Nippertown uh, to produce what we think is going to be the greatest local music festival ever to hit this region coming up on uh, Saturday, the 23rd. 23rd. And uh, then you're not even going to take a break. The very next day, you've got another show. Rolling right back into the Global Series on Sundays at 7 with Jimmy Miller and the congregation. Uh, it's our outreach to the jazz community, but I'll tell you, Jim, uh, Sammy Miller, rather, is as much a musician as he is a comedian, um, so that the show is just interactive and entertaining and not the kind of straight ahead uppity jazz that some people may think they don't like. This guy is incredibly fun, made his debut in the area at the gazebo stage up at the Jazz Fest a few years back then squeezed himself onto the tiny little stage at Cafe Lena, um, where he, I'm sure, was bursting out the bricks uh, from the building. And, and now we're going to give him some elbow room over at Music yeah. Haven. And I think he's just going to blow the roof off the building. That's going to be awesome. That's going to be on the 24th of July. Uh, we're, we're talking with Mo Mona Golub, Music Haven for 2022. Uh, she, you, you really kicked it up quite a few notches here Mona this is like you went you had to take it easy for a year at all <clears throat> excuse me you had to take it easy for a whole year and then you only had a couple of shows last year so this year you're making up for it we are making up for lost time most definitely <laughs> caliber has never been higher you've got the blues barbecue coming on July 28th tell me about how that came together well, we've presented blues before, as you know, for many years. Um, never three acts all on the stage, one after another. Uh, we've got some acoustic blues with Mark and Jill. We'll roll right into Matt Miraboli, one of the best electric blues guitarists in this region and his band. And then we're going to headline the event with none other than Shamika Copeland, um, who just won the 2021 Entertainer of the Year Award uh, from Blues Music. I, you know, she is absolutely incredible and what a lot of people may not know or remember is that Shamika played the old Music Haven stage back in 1998 when she was touring behind her very first album Turn the Heat Up so to have her back at this point and to be able to celebrate the huge success that she is within the genre uh, is just going to be wonderful. Now, isn't she, she's like considered the reigning queen of the blues right? She is for sure. Yeah, yeah, this is exciting. Good stuff. And and you're letting us be have our 15th birthday party on that night. So thank you. You know, we thought we'd throw a big barbecue, get the grills smoking as well as the stage and just party from five until nine, nine thirty. Oh, you're making me hungry already. This is great. <laughs> Tell me about the Lemon Bucket Orchestra. That's coming up on the 31st. You know, I fell in love with this band, Chris. They uh, describe themselves as Balkan Klezmer gypsy punk party music um and they're what? just ridiculously what? fun it's, <laughs> it's like fun. an eastern european romp they're like a second line new orleans style band but with this eastern european bent they're all moving around the stage they've got a tuba keeping the beat they've got horns they've got violins they've got ukrainian vocals they've got um, just this this uplifting style that makes you smile. And that's really part of what I was looking to achieve with this season. 
That's fantastic. Speaking with Mona Golub, Music Haven for 2022, with with exceptions of some of the special shows. These shows are Sunday night, seven o'clock. We should remind folks of that. And musichavenstage.org is the website to go to. Yes. Mona Golub, um, how, do, how does a, a whole series like this get put together? This, this doesn't happen overnight. It doesn't. I've been warming up for the last 33 years. <laughs> um, but having made friends in the international music uh, world, as I have agents and managers and artists alike, uh, we keep track of each other and, and where we are and when they're coming to the United States for a week or two or three of a given year, because it's not an every year kind of thing. Uh, so at this point, really, I'm planning seasons two, three, four, five years out, knowing that there are fabulous artists that have not been to this region yet. And I'm determined to bring them here to Music Haven. And we're so glad and grateful that you do, Mona. It's wonderful people. I know everybody is just so excited when, they, when these shows come around. Speaking of a show that I'm extremely excited for, it's one of your special shows on a Thursday night, Daka Braka. All right. This well, is amazing. You know, I don't often repeat artists, Chris, because there are so many who haven't been here yet, but I couldn't help bring Dacha Bracha back. Uh, obviously, with the war that's going on in Ukraine right now, they are touring for their safety as much as anything else. Um, will their music be as playful as it was when they performed at Music Haven back in 2016? Probably not likely. It's going to be a little bit more somber, and I'm sure there will be a little bit more political commentary uh, than there was then when uh, Marko Halenovic told the audience, uh, stop Putin, no war. Uh, that's the way they ended their show. Little did we know what was coming. Um, mm. Their music is phenomenal, and they are going to put on the show of their lives, uh, and we are going to be there to rally around them, uh, with them, uh, and take in an amazing show, no doubt. And we've got a few special Bells and whistles planned, as you can imagine. I've been working with the Ukrainian leadership in this area. So we'll have some fundraising opportunity going on, including the sale of uh, pierogies that evening. We'll benefit Ooh. the refugee efforts here in this area. Some great raffle prizes uh, that have a, a Ukrainian bent to them. Um, but it will be a very, very special night uh, that will end in a vigil and the singing mm. of the Ukrainian national anthem. Um, so I really encourage people to come and, and be with us in that moment. Musichavenstage.org is where you go to find more information about Music Haven for this summer. Now we're talking about shows in August at this point, Mona. We've got the Spanish Harlem Orchestra coming August 7th. Many would say that is the finest Latin jazz salsa dura orchestra that's touring today. Uh, they've been nominated for six Grammys, won three, won a Latin Grammy. They've been together for about 20 years now, just released their eighth album, an absolutely phenomenal big band. They are going to fill the stage and they are going to fill every inch of space with their huge sound. Three vocalists up front, magical harmonies, horn section, percussion, uh, and a killer composer, arranger, leader on piano by the name of Oscar Hernandez, who just cannot be slowed down. He is a dynamo. That mm. will be a spectacular show and I think people will be dancing. Uh, whether on their feet or in their seats. Absolutely. Sounds great. Uh, you got another one on Saturday, the uh, 13th of August, is that it? Yeah. Yes. Yes, it's the summer of orchestras at Music Haven. We've got the Lemon Bucket Orchestra. We just talked about the Balkan Orchestra, Spanish Harlem Orchestra, the Puerto Rican Orchestra, and of course, our annual appearance by our very own Schenectady Symphony Orchestra on Saturday the 13th. They're going to do a a show around movie themes, so a night at the movies, things, songs that we know and love uh, from our favorite movies, and a special guest vocalist is Maria Sh uh, Scirocco that night. Mm, that's fantastic. Now, Mona, I keep thinking as, as we talk about these, these shows uh, at Music Haven this summer, um, each one of these could be like the lead off show for to start to like an explosive start to a series. Each one of these shows could be the the capstone end of a series. Like each one of these could be like the next night after the Schenectady Symphony, Steve Canyon Rangers. Yes, there is not a weak link in the bunch. You there is not. That. There is not. I've been chasing Steve Canyon Rangers for a handful of years now. 
Uh, some may have seen them perform with Steve Martin and Martin Short at Proctor's or at SPAC, uh, but obviously they are a top-notch bluegrass band uh, that's been touring in their own right uh, around the world. They've played every major bluegrass festival imaginable. Uh, they are a phenomenal sextet, and this will actually be their first headline performance in the Capital Region, so we're thrilled to be able to host that at Music Haven, and for anybody who loves bluegrass or thinks they might like bluegrass that is one show not to miss yeah and even if you don't like bluegrass they're they're so entertaining and so great uh you're, you'll have a great time anyway now do you know if this is is woody platt traveling with him this time he is yes because yeah. i know he's 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 leaving soon so guitarist ah well yeah. you know you see you have news i don't have <laughs> but uh, he will be with the group uh the original leader of the group and actually the special guest that evening that's going to warm the stage up for them is a 16-year-old Appalachian banjo phenom by the name of Nora Brown. Uh, and she also has generating a great buzz. So yeah. if you want to hear about somebody that's going to be big years down the road, she's well on her way. And, and that's a secret not to be kept. Absolutely. And then we bust on to the next weekend. We're getting right down to the wire here to the toward the end. You have a very special night planned for the 20th, right? Well, it started as just a movie. We did a Woodstock movie with WMHT back in 2019. From the audience's perspective, it was fabulous. A really cool vibe on the big screen on the Music Haven stage, all fresco. I thought we'd do a movie again. And of course, there was Questlove's award-winning movie about the Harlem Cultural Festival from 1969 called Summer of Soul. Thought that would be a great movie for us to show and music documentary. And lo and behold, we started adding things to it until it gets dark enough for the movie. So our friend Felicia Collins, who spent 20 plus years on the David Letterman show and is just a fabulous uh, guitarist who plays everything um, and is based in Albany, said, yeah, I'll play some vintage soul and funk. So she's put a group together. Um, Felicia Collins and the Variant is what she's calling it. We've got a little bit of gospel. We've got a little bit of step show. We've got some double Dutch. We've got some soul food. We've got some art. And this will all be crammed into the 5 to 7.30 period before it's dark enough to screen Summer of Soul on the big screen. So it's going to be a hell of a soulful night at Music Haven on Saturday, August 20th. That's going to be awesome. And then what still not we're still not at the end yet though mona there's there's another okay. show on a sunday night and then another show the following weekend we're talking with mona golub all about music haven for 2022 music haven stage because i know we've given you a lot of information a lot of things happening go to the website that's where you'll find all of this and you can sort of map out your summer because you, you're going to be at schenectady's music haven all summer long i'm just telling you that right now so tell me about what's happening on the 21st the very next night uh it's the final global concert of the summer, Chris. And for the first time ever, we're going to visit Finland with a fabulous band called Frigg. They are fronted by four fiddles. Um, if you love Celtic music, you will love this. Uh, they've got bazooki mm. bass and guitar behind them, uh, but it's a lovely, lilting, driving music. Um, and we are just so looking forward to presenting them for their first time here in the Capital Region as well. That's fantastic. And then, Mona, the the sort of the next weekend, uh, Saturday, you have um, the Will Kemp Players. Yes, Will Kemp's Players are back, our friends from Troy, New York, uh, with another wonderful William Shakespeare comedy, The Comedy of Errors. They'll be doing a two-night run on Friday, Saturday, August 26th and 27th. We've got some period music to set the tone from Duan Marchand. And uh, we thought that would be a great way to send out the summer of 2022. That's fantastic. Now, Mona, I, I know better than to ask this, but I'm going to ask anyway. So with this amazing season underway and all this great stuff that we've got yet to come this season, you're planning the next few, you said. So yeah. how are you going to how are you going to top this? Oh, my gosh, this is so well, awesome. <laughs> well, you know, once international travel gains more footing and gets closer back to normal. Um, there are a lot of bands that are on my list that haven't yet made it here uh, that I would love to bring to Music Haven. And the list doesn't get any shorter. So this is a good thing. That's a good thing. 
Mona Golub, thank you so much for taking time to talk with me. Thank you. Musichavenstage.org, folks, get over there, plan out the rest of your summer. <laughs>